The country has taken one more step out of the pandemic hole from the beginning of the year after it posted a substantial cutback in inflation rate last month. The general drop in the prices of food and essentials last month augurs well for the nation's economic managers and the country, meeting growth forecasts set domestically and internationally. As our Naomi Tiburshaw reports. The continued downpour in the past weeks didn't slow down the sales of El Ring's small poultry store in Quezon City. What contributed more to her sales is the lower prices of chicken. 200, mas mataas ang nakaraan din. 200, medyo gumaba ngayon. For the fourth straight month this year, inflation further slowed this May. According to the Philippine Statistics Authority, from 6.6% in April, it fell to 6.1% last month. This is the lowest inflation since July 2022. This is why the average year-to-date inflation is 7.5%, according to National Statistician Under Secretary Dennis Papa. He said this could be related to the slow inflation of food and transportation. Chicken, beef, and pork are all showing a slower price increase. The price of fish and eggs also dipped slightly due to increase in local production, as well as inflation for gasoline and diesel. Pababa na yung ating inflation rate. Um, so may mga items tayo na talagang nag-contribute ng malaki uh, sa, mga, sa ating inflation rate in the previous months na ngayon ay bumababa naman, no? nag-reverse na yung kanyang uh, uh, trend ng pinaka obvious ay yung transport. The inflation is within the forecast range of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. This is also in accordance with their assessment that inflation will gradually slow down until the fourth quarter of 2023. But according to the PSA, the inflation in water utilities and services has increased along with the additional charges set by Maynilad and Manila Water this year. Yung increases ngayon natin ay dahil dun sa base effect no? galing dun sa uh, previous uh, year now dahil mayroon siyang pagtaas. Uh, now of course, dahil nagtaas yung uh, Manila Waters and uh, Maynilad, yung ating mga water concessionaires din sa mga probinsya ay uh, nag- nagtaasa din ng presyo. No? According to the National Economic and Development Authority, the Interagency Committee on Inflation and Market Outlook is also monitoring the possible effects of high electricity bills and food price increase due to the possible effects of El Nino. Neda notes the country needs to prepare for El Nino through timely imports to fill in supply shortage, ensure sufficient inventory of rice, and strengthen biosecurity in the country. Naomi Tiburcio, For the Nation.